Many people have said to me, I can forgive, but not him, not her, not now, maybe later. We believe in forgiveness, but we want to hold on. But what we don't realize in holding on, we're holding on to a poison or a knife and we're hurting ourselves, not the other person. When we forgive quickly, we forgive ourselves. We free ourselves up. I'm urging you today to forgive quickly, freely, and easily. While speaking of love and judgment, Jesus said this, Forgive, and you will be forgiven. If we feel that another person has treated us unjustly, whether intentionally or unintentionally, we can be willing to give love and forgiveness if we are empowered by God's love to do so. And we will be willing to become an open channel of God's love, forgiving and receiving forgiveness. It is difficult for us to forgive oftentimes, but we will most likely find the difficulty lies within us. In our efforts to resolve the hurt feelings, in our efforts to resolve the resentment, it is vital to our own spiritual unfoldment to forgive quickly and freely and easily. As open channels for forgiveness, we don't harbor any ill will against anyone. We immediately release any negative feelings that may crop up and we supplant them with feelings of God's love. We allow ourselves to be filled to overflowing with God's all-forgiving love and a healing a restorative quietness fills us from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. The peace of God is ours again, for the quiet assurance of God's love is at work, and we forgive quickly and freely and easily, and we find when we do, we're forgiven ourselves.